Hey, what's going on, guys? In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down to Peter Skronsky and why I think he projects best as an NFL guard instead of an NFL tackle. Let's get right into this video. This is Peter Skronsky. He's the left tackle from Northwestern. He's 6'4", 313 pounds, and 21 years old. Of course, uh, played his junior year last year in 2022. His stats, he played in 12 games, had 882 snaps on left tackle. He allowed one sack, two hits, and three hurries. So my strength and weaknesses go as follows. For strength, he's athletic. He's got a 9.28 relative athletic score. That's based on his combine measurements and athletic testing. He has good technique and footwork. That's very important for offensive linemen to have. Um, and he also has a good IQ as an offensive lineman. You know, he's able to pick up blitzes very well. And he's also able to, you know, pick up switches and react to that fast. He also is fast at getting vertical. He's always creating at the second level and getting holes uh, there he creates gaps well in the run game and then when he wins early he wins the rep usually so when he gets his hands into the defensive lineman's frame early or when he gets a very good jump off the line he usually wins the rep uh, he also has good hands at the point of attack but he needs to make sure his hands are on the t off on, on the defensive lineman because he does have short hands it's one of his weaknesses or short arms and short wingspan and his strength actually is that he profiles really good as an nfl guard but that's why he pro the reason why he profiles well as an NFL guard is due to his weaknesses. He is shorter, he has uh, smaller arms, and he's a smaller wingspan. So he has 32 inch arms, which is in the fourth percentile for all offensive tackles that have been measured since 2003. That's per the NFL Combine. He has a 79.5 inch wingspan. That's also in the eighth percentile. That's another really low mark. And he also has a, he's also 6'4", which is in the eighth percentile as well for height which all of those together combined are stream red flags for left tackles in the NFL because there are a lot of edge rushers who are just going to out length him and they're going to be and they're going to out height him and they're going to out arm length him. They're going to get into his frame super early and you're going to see that why in the film part of the video why that's a problem. Um, he also really doesn't play well versus lengthy edge rushers um, when he played Lucas Van Ness who was in this draft class who I have as a first round grade who I'll highlight in this video, did not have a good time against him. Um, but a weakness is that he has no experience at guard. He never, he didn't play guard in high school or in his last year of high school. He didn't play in his senior year at guard and didn't play a tackle at Northwestern either. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show in this video is why I don't think Peter Skronsky profiles best as a left tackle. So that's the first part of the video. And the second part is why I think he's going to be really good as an NFL guard. So... This is an exceptional play about why uh, Peter Skronsky does not have NFL arm length. So Peter Skronsky's right here, gets off the line, and just looks extremely staggered and outmatched by the, the edge rusher number 49 in Iowa. You can even see a little bit about him kind of T-Rex T arming. He's just, and then this arm is just not even able to get into the frame and then allows a sack here. Here's a play against Lucas Van Ness in the 5-tech. Peter Skronsky, once again, not even able to get into his arms into the frame. Um, Lucas Van Ness, obviously a more lengthy edge rusher, 6'5", 272 pounds. And he's just kind of able to move through him. Peter Skronsky isn't able to win early and isn't able to get in his arms in his frame because his arms aren't big enough. Here's another play against Lucas Van Ness. And Peter Skronsky gets blown off the line and his quarterback gets decked because of it. Lucas Van, Lucas Van Ness pummels him at the line because he didn't win early and he doesn't have the arm strength or the recovery to do that because he just isn't big enough and he just doesn't have the arm length to combat that type of strength however look at peter skronsky in the second level that's a huge that's a huge hole that's a great block by peter skronsky um it is a linebacker so he did not match him but that's a huge hole that he allowed up and here's a great play to show why peter skronsky would be a great nfl guard so Let's just imagine that this is the tackle. Let's just let's just imagine it. So 87 is the tackle. Peter Skronsky is the guard. And so let's say that they want to do, you know, maybe a counter, maybe an outside run, uh, maybe an inside zone run. And Peter Skronsky is going to be the pulling guard here. That's a great pull to allow for a hole to open up. And see, what Peter Skronsky wants to do is he's trying to attack the outside leverage uh, on this linebacker here so that the hole can open up and hey if Peter Skronsky has to play at the NFL level as a tackle here's a good example where he is able to get his hands into the frame of Aiden Hutchinson who went number two overall last year and he's holding his own here here's a good play by Peter Skronsky where Wisconsin is going to perform a twist here where this 
um, maybe that's he's in like the seven tech. He's pretty far out here. He's gonna twist, and then the um, the four the three tech is gonna move inside for the twist. But Peter Skronsky keeps his eyes open and keeps his lower body strong. This guard uh, trades him off, and he's able to. He does does get pushed back a little. His uh, the hands are in his face uh, by this three tech. Does end up on the ground, but still good pickup. And hell, if even Peter Skrosky was the guard here, I think he would have done well even if he ha he would have to be the one to trade off and catch the edge rusher because he has tackle experience. He can guard against edge rushers too. Here's a good win against George Karloff. This, this is a first-round edge rusher as well who went 30th uh, or 29th overall to the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, does, once again, his arm length, you know, does hold him off here, um, but arm length is still a problem. He, uh, it's... Karloftis still gets into his frame pretty early. So if we're doing a player comp on Peter Skronsky, who is an offensive tackle who really should move to guard, why not give the perfect example of an infamous tackle who went to guard, Zach Martin. Of course, they have similar frames. Um, Zach Martin, 6'4", 6'4", for Peter Skronsky. They have same weight, only a six-pound difference. They, um, and then, of course, Zach Martin with the 77.5-inch uh, wingspan. And then an arm length of 33, which is similar to Peter Skronsky's. They were both college guards um, with Zach Martin at Notre Dame, Peter Skronsky at Northwestern. They're both called leaders on the field with good IQ. They didn't have off the field issues. They both had no experience at guard, but profiled best as guards. I mean, Zach Martin's wingspan at 77 and a half was just not going to work at the NFL level even in 2014. Uh, they had similar testing and athleticism, and they both struggled versus larger edge rushers. And they really both have similar play styles as well. I mean, we'll see what happens with Peter Skronsky in the NFL, whether he actually transitions to guard or not. But if you watch the college film from Zach, um, from Zach Martin and then from Peter Skronsky, they pretty much had the same problems and the same successes. And then differences, they virtually kind of had none, except Peter Skronsky may be viewed as some, um, slightly more athletic, a 92, uh, a 90 9.28 uh, relative athletic score. But, I mean, that's a very good player comparison if you're jumping from guard to ta or from tackle to guard. I mean, Zach Martin's probably going to be a Hall of Famer. So my grade for Peter Skronsky, I have him as a 6.4 as a guard, which is a late first round grade. He's my guard number two in this class because I am putting him in the guard category uh, next to Osiris Torrance. And then a 6.3 for offensive tackle, which is a mid-second round grade. But I don't think he works out in the NFL long term as an offensive tackle due to his weaknesses like arm strength um i think but he, i do think he works out good as an nfl guard uh once the learning curve is over because i think he'll definitely need to have a learning curve if he needs to move to guard as potential i have him as a good nfl guard or a potential pro bowl guard later in his career when he matures at the position and then teams likely to draft gonna have the eagles um gonna have the tennessee titans gonna have the bears or gonna have the jets now i don't think those are the actual teams that are gonna draft him I think Peter Skronsky is slips in the draft. I do think he slips in the draft a little bit because teams will be concerned about his length. So even though those are my projected teams to pick because those are the consensus ones and a lot of people like that, do expect a Peter Skronsky drop in the draft and don't be surprised when it happens. But while this series is winding down, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you want to continue following my channel, I'm going to be posting a ton of draft content once we get closer to draft. And then, of course, after the draft, I'm going to be posting a ton of videos. I'm going to be even streaming the draft on draft night, Thursday the 27th, starting at 8 o'clock. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.